It might surprise you to learn that in the first quarter of 2014, the United States surpassed Saudi Arabia and Russia to become the world's largest oil producer. That's right, the world's largest oil producer. Most of it can be explained by one word, fracking, through hydraulic fracturing or fracking, a process that uses a pressurized mixture of water, sand, and chemicals to extract oil from underground rock. Vast reserves of domestic oil are newly accessible, as deep as a mile or more below the Earth's surface. In September, U.S. crude oil production reached a 28-year high. This increased production over the past few years has led to greater U.S. energy independence. The United States now imports only 28% of the petroleum it uses, down from 60% in 2005. At the same time, the growth in the global oil supply has been outpacing worldwide demand due to slowing economic growth in China and continuing weakness in Europe. So what does this mean for U.S. consumers? Oil prices, which are traded on world markets, fell in mid-September to the lowest level in more than two years, despite recent geopolitical pressures in Russia and the Middle East. Retail gas prices are tied directly to the cost of crude oil, and this past summer, American drivers enjoyed the lowest gasoline prices in four years. When it costs less to fill up at the pump, many households have more money to spend on other types of goods and services. And when businesses spend less on petroleum products, they may have more capital to invest in equipment and employees. Could lower fuel prices cause U.S. economic growth to accelerate? The answer may depend on whether fuel prices stay low for a while or shoot back up relatively soon. Oil prices are especially sensitive to geopolitical crisis and supply shocks, and global forces will continue to affect the price of oil. But by becoming more energy independent, the United States may be able to exert more influence over its own economic destiny.